Kidney health Pathophysiology of the kidney The kidney is a vital organ responsible for filtering blood and removing waste products from the body. It plays a crucial role in maintaining the body's fluid balance, electrolyte balance, and acid-base balance. The pathophysiology of the kidney refers to the physiological processes that occur in the kidney when it is functioning abnormally or is damaged. There are several conditions that can affect the pathophysiology of the kidney, including Acute kidney injury, a.k.i., Aki is a sudden and rapid loss of kidney function, usually caused by a decrease in blood flow to the kidneys, damage to the kidney tissue, or obstruction of the urinary tract. Aki can result in a buildup of waste products in the body and electrolyte imbalances. Chronic kidney disease, CKD CKD is a progressive and irreversible condition in which the kidneys gradually lose their function over time. CKD is commonly caused by conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, and glomerulonephritis. CKD can lead to a buildup of waste products in the body and electrolyte imbalances. Nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome is a condition characterized by the loss of large amounts of protein in the urine due to damage to the glomeruli, tiny blood vessels, in the kidney. This can lead to fluid accumulation in the body, edema, low levels of albumin in the blood, hypoalbuminemia, and high levels of cholesterol and triglycerides. Nutrition tips for a healthy kidney. Glomerulonephritis. Glomerulonephritis is a condition in which the glomeruli become inflamed, causing damage to the kidney tissue. This can lead to proteinuria, hematuria, blood in the urine, and decreased kidney function. Polycystic kidney disease Polycystic kidney disease is a genetic disorder in which cysts develop in the kidney tissue, causing damage to the surrounding tissue and eventually leading to kidney failure. Overall the pathophysiology of the kidney is complex and can be affected by a variety of factors. Understanding the underlying mechanisms of kidney disease is critical for the diagnosis and treatment of these conditions. Maintaining a healthy diet is essential for good kidney function. Here are some nutrition tips for a healthy kidney. Eat a balanced diet, include a variety of nutrient-dense foods in your diet, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Watch your protein intake, eating too much protein can increase the workload on your kidneys. Choose lean protein sources like chicken, fish, beans, and lentils. Limit phosphorus intake, too much phosphorus in the blood can weaken bones and damage blood vessels. Limit your intake of high phosphorus foods like dairy products, nuts, and seeds. Choose low potassium foods. If you have kidney disease, you may need to limit your intake of high potassium foods like bananas, oranges, tomatoes, and potatoes. Avoid sugary drinks. Drinking sugary beverages like soda and juice can increase your risk of developing kidney disease. Manage your weight. Maintaining a healthy weight can reduce your risk of developing diabetes, high blood pressure, and other conditions that can damage your kidneys. Limit alcohol intake. Drinking too much alcohol can raise your blood pressure and damage your kidneys. Stick to moderate drinking or avoid alcohol altogether. Fruits low in potassium If you have kidney disease or are on a low potassium diet, it's important to choose fruits that are low in potassium. Here are some fruits that are low in potassium. Apples, berries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, pineapple, grapes, peach, Mandarin oranges, papaya and pears plums, watermelon, blueberries, cherries, mango, and nectarines. It's important to note that portion sizes also matter when it comes to potassium intake. Even low potassium fruits can become high in potassium if eaten in large quantities. Therefore, it's essential to work with a registered dietitian or a healthcare provider to determine the right portion sizes for you based on your individual needs. High Potassium Fruits While potassium is an essential nutrient, for people with kidney disease, high levels of potassium in the blood, hyperkalemia, can be dangerous. Here are some high potassium fruits that people with kidney disease should limit or avoid.
Avocados Melons, honeydew, cantaloupe Pomegranates Dried fruits, raisins, apricots Again, it's important to note that portion sizes matter. Eating a small amount of a high potassium fruit may be okay but consuming too much of it can raise potassium levels in the blood. If you have kidney disease, it's important to work with a registered dietitian or a healthcare provider to develop a personalized nutrition plan that meets your specific needs. Please subscribe, share and comment for more information on health and education.